Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Mist. Yeah, going way back in games here. Uh, this came out sometime in the 90s and it is honestly one of my favorite game series of all time. It's a heavy influence to me and I just wanted to play it and share it. Sure, I'm sure plenty of people have probably played it or shown parts of it or, li or the like, and I admit it's probably best to pl show off this kind of game blind, and that's not something I'm going to do because I know these games so well, but I, I just want to share it and show it off. Incidentally, um, one of the things that influenced me with this was no, you know what, I'm not going to get into it now. I'll get into it while I'm playing and discuss things. So, let's just start the game up. I realized the moment I fell into the fissures that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. And there is the book, the one that started this whole journey. Mist. Simple book. The strangest of things. Upon one of the first pages. Seems a little crinkled. Maybe I should touch it. Welcome to the Island of Mist. Yeah, we just touched the page in a book, and suddenly we are actually inside the book. Yeah, this is... The, the graphics are... Yeah, I guess they're a bit dated, and it is effectively a point-and-click adventure. But, it is what it is. I don't remember that. And, well, that's basically all the background you get. And in character, you have even less. You just see the strange book appear, you pick it up, you open it, you touch a strange moving image, and suddenly you're here. Why are you here? What's going on? Well, you have no idea. And now, you just gotta figure out what you're supposed to do. So, let's start. Take a look down in here. Not really anything in here. I mean, there are some things. This weird thing here with a button. And it appears to be an illusion. Settings Dimensional Imager, Topographical Extrusion Test 40, Water Turbulent Pool 67, Marker Switch Diagram 47. 
Aha! Said 40 and 47. Well, let's see, 47. That must be the marker it mentioned. So, topographical extrusion test is 40. And... That's... Oh, that's something. Just a couple mountains. No idea what it's for or means or anything. I'm gonna try not to give out things or information as I go, but, well, ahead of time or the like. But, uh, I'll still talk about things as I go. Sleeve. Nothing else of note in there. And the door closed behind us. There's one of those switches. Might as well turn it on. Doesn't seem to do anything, though. And some big gears up here. Not sure what they are for. Alright. And back to exploring. A note. Catherine, I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our fore chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Yours, Atris. Number of marker switches. Well, we saw two over there. One, two. And I see another here by this building. So that's three. This looks like a dentist's chair or the like. Not sure what this is doing, it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, wait. Okay, now that's definitely different. So what if we do this now? Uh. You know what? Just to test. Because you gotta check, you gotta see whether it comes up with your birthday. I don't know the time, but. Okay. I guess that's my constellation, whatever that is. No idea what the purpose of this is, though. And that's kind of what happened with the Myst games. You find all these strange things with no idea what their purpose is. You just have to figure it all out. And in time, you do. We'll go in there later. Moving on got a spaceship over here. It would be the fourth one of those. And we can't get in there. There's something over there, though. Some cable. And here we have a ship. Kind of like over by the docks. And a whole bunch of switches, too. And there's another one of those switches. Moving down this way. Huh. I don't remember those butterflies or bits of moving areas. I think that's the sixth switch here? Well, this is going down deep. Oh. Well then.
power, power to spaceship. I think we blew the power. Okay, well, let's get out of here. And what else have we got? Some sort of clock. There's another switch over there, but we can't get to it. And this is affecting the time on the clock. So much for it being accurate. And that one's the little hand. No idea what time we're supposed to have. And here's another switch. And in here we have something else. seem to be doing anything. And a vault here with no information on the number. And we can go look at this tree, which is very, very tall. Probably the tallest we have here. And that is almost everything on the Island of Mist. Let me just count again. We have one... Two. Is there one here? Yes. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Alright. We've got eight switches, so I guess we can solve our first puzzle here. What happens when we put in the number eight? this tells us. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leave the conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh. I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. <sighs> well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But <sighs> if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Well, that gives us a bit more information of something. Atri a man named Atris had a bunch of books that appear to have been burned. He managed to save a few of them and hid them safely. The question is, what are those books? He was also talking to Catherine, who he said to erase that message after she got it, but she apparently never got it, because the message wasn't erased. So, what are these books? What was burned? Who is Akinar? Who is this other son? And what is going on? Well, let's see if we can find the answers in here. Got a painting there, a book there, painting there, a whole bunch of books there, painting, book, and something there. And this painting is actually active. Well, he did mention something about tower rotation. That does seem to rotate and look around. Well, it seemed to stop at four areas. Gears, a ship, that's the tree, and the spaceship. Question is, what's the purpose? Alright, well let's take a look at this book here. Hmm. 
Nothing but static. Okay. Well, we got this red-colored page. What happens if we put it in here? Huh? Why? A chest. Reception is kind of terrible here. So, I didn't get much out of that, except bring me the red page and I am Cirrus. Hmm. I wonder if there's a sa the same thing here in this blue book. Well, nothing but static without the pages, so... Let's try giving him this blue page. Still horrible reception. Didn't get anything out of that, and not even a name. Just bring me the blue pages. Who is that, I wonder? And that is a very pretty appearance there. And we have a bookcase here. Unfortunately, all of the books are burned and destroyed. So these are the burned books that we were told about. Almost all burned and destroyed, however. Four of them are still whole. And there's going to be a bit of reading to them. Which is going to take a while. Probably more than the time I have left, so... I'm not going to do it, I'm going to read it in the next episode. There's a little bit more in this place, though. It's a bookcase. There's a, uh... Well, we can step into this fireplace, probably where the books were burned. Huh. And there's a switch. Curious? Do what that is. And there's a couple paintings here. Get this one hit. Oh, um. Oh! Oh! That's interesting. And now we're sealed inside. So if we touch the other one. And that opens it up again. And closes that up. All right, well, I think I'm probably going to end this here. We'll read the books and take a look at what's past that passage in the next episode. Before I do, I just want to say, Mist is, like I said before, 
a big game to me. It's heavily influenced me. Maybe not so much the gameplay as much as the story, the concepts, and ideas behind it. And I admit, most of the Myst games I never really completed properly. Myst 1 and 2, in fact, the main information I know, the main way I gained information from them was from the uh, hint books that I happen to have. I still have the hint book for the second game. The first game, I don't know what happened to the hint book. It belonged to a relative, and uh, it's gone missing. One of the most fascinating things about those hint books, this was way back in the day, hint books would tell you things like hints to get through, secrets you could find, uh, walk through to beat the game, but Mist had something extra. Mist, the hint books actually had an entire section that was a walkthrough done in the style of a journal. A journal written by the character you're playing as, as they explore and find information and learn about it and all that sort of stuff. It was fascinating, and I read and reread and reread them over and over again. And that's how I mainly learned about these things from a story. Which is fitting considering how big a theme books are in this game. You saw before, we arrived here through a book. We have books here. It is a pity that books aren't really thought of or used very much anymore nowadays. People don't read as much anymore, which is unfortunate. Books are fascinating things. And now, well, books remain an important part here. I love Mist, and I just want to share and show off everything. And maybe this time I'll actually be able to complete it properly. Because I'll be honest, the original Mist, there was always one place I could never go to, and I never saw. Not except in screenshots. I hope I'll be able to. Anyway... Next episode, we'll take a look at the books on here. Till then, I'm Chester44, this has been Mist, and I shall see you all next time.